I am Katherine Speglia Nin, Managing Editor at RCR Wireless News. With MWC Barcelona just a week away, I'm catching up with Peter Carson, Marvell's Senior Director of Solutions Marketing, to find out what the company has in store for the show. Hi, Peter. Hi, Kat. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so tell me, what's new with Marvell? What is the company bringing to the show floor this year? Well, this is our first time back since 2019, and we're excited to be back in full swing. So at this year's MWC, Marvell will showcase its industry-leading uh, 5G silicon portfolio from the radio to the core network and the relevance of our cloud-optimized silicon that powers the world's largest cloud hyperscaler uh, infrastructure. Um, the latest announcement uh, is our Octeon 10 Fusion processor. It's the industry's first five nanometer baseband solution. It's built on our widely proven and globally deployed uh, baseband technology. Um, the Octeon Fusion platform that we're announcing, uh, this Octeon 10 Fusion platform, um, it, it supports use cases from the RU to the DU for both integrated, which some people call the traditional RAN, classic RAN architecture, to open virtualized RAN. Um, and we're executing with Nokia, Samsung, Dell, all the, uh, the world's top cloud software providers and many other uh, folks in the ecosystem. And you'll see a lot about that at the show. Um, the hottest topic that we're kind of in the center of, which you'll see featured at the show as well, is Marvell's inline hardware acceleration platform um, inside of the Octeon 10 Fusion processor. Again, it's the world's first five nanometer uh, 5G hardware accelerator to deliver what we call the no compromise open VRAN solution for the industry. Um, that basically gives cloud scalability to these platforms uh, with proven baseband technology that delivers the performance of existing leading edge uh, 5G networks. So we have massive ecosystem momentum for this inline accelerator technology. And you will see the Marvell designed um, card, our reference design that uh, actually some of our customers use as their commercial design in various booths around the, the show floor. That's all really exciting. And actually something that stuck out to me that I found very interesting is what you said about the solution being able to support the traditional RAN vendors as well as those in the VRAN and open RAN space. So can you tell me a little bit more about why that sort of support is so important? Well, this goes back to um, kind of the early beginnings of open RAN and VRAN where um, it was convenient for some of the server uh, CPU players to come in and say, hey, you know, the best way to kind of build this is to leverage our existing server infrastructure, which is built on general purpose compute processors, leverage the software ecosystem, and, and basically just port what we call the physical layer or layer one of 5G onto those servers to, you know, to build a, a cloud native uh, solution. The problem with that is those servers were really not designed for the complexity, latency sensitivity, and performance requirements and power requirements, power efficiency needs of the 5G physical layer. It's, it's perhaps the most demanding workload that, the, that server infrastructure has ever seen. Um, coming at it from an established position of have, having delivered the most optimized baseband, dating back to 4G and, and 5G. In fact, we have the most widely deployed 5G baseband silicon of any merchant silicon vendor in the industry. Um, so we're, we're using that experience and that proven fabric in an open virtualized architecture to deliver a, a unified platform, this Octeon 10 Fusion, um, that actually serves both the existing customers and their migration to more advanced features, massive MIMO, better performance power, and actually delivers the open scalable platform um, that, that enables a truly cloud native 5G RAN that meets the performance of existing and established networks. That's a critical requirement and the reason it's so critical is this is going to be a multi-year transition. Cloud native uh, RAN is not going to happen overnight, but really this is all about new services, new enhanced services that really are the growth engine for 5G innovation. It's about new enterprise services, mobile edge computing, industrial AR, wireless factory auto automation. And, and these customers that are driving these kinds of new uh, services with the carriers 
are going to insist in some cases for service level agreements. That means guaranteed quality of service, latency, reliability. You could bet they will be measuring those metrics in their network. Um, so, so performance does matter um, to the to these end users as well. Even if the consumer may not notice some of those differences. So that's why uh, we feel this this critical transition, being able to bridge that gap with a common platform that is proven in the traditional RAN with the best in class performance and bringing that into an open cloud native virtualized environment is, is so critical to helping this industry scale uh, cloud RAN. Okay, so broadening the conversation a little bit, what other topics do you expect to be really big at this year's show and how does Marvell fit into that conversation? Well, massive MIMO has been a hot topic. Um, you know, the, the quest for spectral efficiency and capacity to keep up with this, you know, unabated uh, growth in data traffic um, is never ending. Um, and so with massive MIMO uh, increasing its bandwidth, uh, the number of antennas, uh, the complexity is increasing. The algorithm complexity is increasing, but unfortunately power size and weight requirements for the, the radio that sits atop the tower that your, your uh, device connects to um, is actually shrinking or at least not, not expanding with the, uh, the capacity needs. Um, again, because of the power uh, challenges, power efficiency, and you know, it, it's not just power. Power drives the thermals, which is kind of the heat dissipation. If you have to dissipate more heat, you're consuming more power, you dissipate more heat, you need a bigger box, um, and it adds to the weight as well if you're using, especially if you're not using optimized silicon. So this is really the perfect storm for delivering an optimized platform like the Octeon 10 Fusion platform that has all the hardware acceleration to deliver this efficient performance and a big boost in uh, processor uh, processing power without the energy uh, increase that you have in some of the kind of traditional um, traditional general purpose processors that are used in the radios like FPGAs. Security is another hot topic. So um, it's, it's already one of the hottest topics in, in the 5G world. Uh, and you, as you've seen from some of the breaches of major mobile networks around the world, the stakes are really high. Um, the migration to open RAN and virtualized cloud RAN uh, further exposes the network to various points of attack and actually begs for some of the most advanced security platforms, which we already deliver in the form of a product we announced back in September called Liquid Security 2. Um, the Liquid Security uh, platform is a hardware security module that is used literally in all the world's largest hyperscale clouds for their hardware security as a service offering to enterprises that secures uh, a wide variety of of data at rest, in process, in motion, uh, and now is available for 5G carrier networks. Uh, so that's another thing that we're, we're rolling out, you'll see at the show as well. Um, and so we're in a position to offer best-in-class hardware security modules that secure uh, the world's data in mobile networks, literally from the device SIMs and eSIMs, all the way to the cloud containers as we move to this more cloud-native uh, 5G deployment in the core and, and across the uh, the RAN and the edge of the network as well. The other thing I'd like to finish on with regard to security is is um, the performance and features in the uh, Liquid Security 2 module actually have crypto agility, which um, prepares the whole 5G um, customer base for a post quantum world. So if you've heard about quantum computing risks uh, to encryption algorithms, it's real. And uh, NIST uh, is actually uh, working on standards and algorithms to address that. And the crypto agility and, and performance headroom that we have in Liquid Security 2 makes this a future ready platform that can migrate to those new algorithms as soon as they're ready. So, so that's a pretty exciting to topic for us. Okay, so I appreciate you laying all of those emerging trends out for me. But something that stuck out to me was that you said optimized silicon. And I know Marvell talks about optimized silicon a lot. So why is that? And why does this set the company apart? I'll take you back to the origins of that, um, that term. And, and that was years ago when uh, Marvell was working with the big hyperscale of clouds for the first time. 
recognized that all data flows through the clouds, the, all the major cloud uh, infrastructure, but that each cloud is very different. And not only is each cloud different, but every major application within the cloud, compute, storage, networking, security is very different. And so it's about delivering the right solution for the right problem. And so um, we talked about general purpose versus optimized solutions for VRAM, but let's recognize that the hyperscale clouds all started the same way on general purpose compute platforms for the first several years until they started to try to scale and realize that they couldn't get the performance, the power efficiency, the cost structure they needed to continue to grow the business at kind of the hyper growth that we've seen over the last several years. Now let's go back to Oction. So as opposed to a general purpose processor, Oction has an optimal mix of connectivity, DSPs, CPUs, hardware accelerators, specific to, tailored to each specific application. That mix and even the hardware acceleration is tailored for each, app, each application we serve, whether it's security, networking, 5G. Um, and so we also have um, a secret ingredient, which we think uh, really distinguishes us from a lot of the other players out there, especially the merchant players, is that we have the unique ability to customize the most advanced, complex 5G and cloud silicon platforms at scale for the world's largest OEMs and hyperscale cloud service providers. And that that's part of our DNA. Um, we, we said recently at an event we hosted that we, we saw about 25% of the infrastructure silicon is actually custom customized to some level, and then that and, and if you look at cloud and um, and what we're doing with with our big OEMs in the five G infrastructure space, it's very much about optimizing those platforms. But that's not all, all we; those aren't all, the only customers we serve. We also create open, virtualized, and disruptive architectures that enable a really diverse and growing ecosystem of five G suppliers, from these small optical module vendors to you know, larger and emerging cloud software uh, partners and other enablers in the ecosystem. So, so we, we do serve all these markets, but um, unique ability to customize at scale is, is something that's specific to Marvell. And it really positions us best uh, to help customers bridge this seamless transition and carrier networks. It's gonna take a decade or more to go from conventional to cloud native 5G all the way from the edge to the core. Peter, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me, and I can't wait to see you in Barcelona. Thank you. You too. Appreciate it.